This is Bo with Dots and Arms Co. Welcome to Gun Tech Tips number six. Changing extractors on Remington shotguns. All the modern Remington shotguns, the pump action 870, the 1100, the 1187, the model 58, and the 1148 series all use the same type of extractor. It is changed in the same way through all of the models and it's actually the same part number. It doesn't matter whether it's 20 gauge, 16 gauge, or 12 gauge. You can actually do it while the bolt is still in the gun. It's harder on the semi-automatic, so what we're going to do is a demonstration using this Remington Model 58 short barrel shotgun. We're going to change this extractor while the bolt is still in the gun to show you how to do it. This is a lot easier with the Remington 870 pump shotgun because you don't have to do something to hold the bolt in place while you change the extractor. What we're going to do is start with this Remington Model 58 and right now I got it propped up on a screwdriver. What we want to do is take and uh, move this bolt back some. We're going to insert a punch up through the bottom here where the lifter is to hold the bolt in place while we do the repair work. I like to use these brass punches here on the punch. The lifter is actually holding it in place and we can get in here and you can see we can work around as we have clearance. In our previous gun tech tips videos we talked about these uh, dental probe instruments and how useful they are. You want to buy the whole set you can get these pretty cheap at Harbor Freight and we're going to use these to change this extractor. This is what the extractor actually looks like. This part will fit inside of the bolt this way. And you'll notice this little shelf here is where the spring will impact and keep it in place. So this is the important part right here. Now with your, uh, your set of dental picks, these are the two I like to use. This is the one that I pull the plunger back with, and you can see how it is, is pulled back at an angle. And when you pull it back, this will allow you to, to withdraw it into the bolt, where if you use this flat one, you can't get it back far enough. So what we do is we put it right in here like this. We have it back, and when it's back, we take our other tool and we rotate the extractor out. See how that rotated right out? Comes right out of the gun. Then you insert your replacement one. captured by the spring and there we go that's pretty simple what we'll do is zoom in and give you a little look so you can take a look and see what it looks like when it's actually installed and there's a close-up you can see it moves everything functions good now one tip here when you're replacing these there are several causes for these to break. One is poor metallurgy but that's uncommon with Remington brand guns. Most of the time when you replace one of these you're going to want to pull the barrel off because the most common cause for extractor breakage is pitting and roughness in the bore. Second followed by a lot of plastic fouling from the different shotgun shells that people have been firing. The cheaper brand of shells leave more deposits if you shoot the gun a lot and it's hot, then that increases the amount of plastic deposit in here. So 
a lot of times once you replace this extractor you want to go in here and polish the chamber thanks for joining us for gun tech tips number six Remington shotgun extractor replacement and we'll see you on the next one please rate comment and subscribe